Hey guys, what is going on? I have some very cool advice and uh, tips to show you using Motion 5 and your GoPro videos. I took a test clip of the uh, GoPro HD Hero 2 promo and it looks like this. Now this clip as you can see, most of everything is uh, in fisheye. Uh, parts of it look more fisheye than others. And using Motion 5, you can get rid of that. You can flatten the video and make it look linear. Now to do this, you have to have Motion 5 uh, opened up and find your test clip, or, well, I found my test clip on my desktop under File Browser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it right down here. It should show up under group one, and uh, it's titled test clip. The next thing to do is you click on your video effects, go to distortion, and fisheye. Now, once that shows up, the video will look very bulged in the preview, and to fix that, you go to inspector, and it opens up filters for the fisheye effect. Now, it's preset for 15 which is supposed to make a normal video look fisheye, but since this is already a fisheye video, it looks very extreme. To get rid of that, you can scroll down to, to now if you see that one, it looks pretty normal, but it's still uh, fisheye in terms of uh, linear. Adjusting it a little, you can find the best fitting way to get rid of that effect. And so I, I choose either negative 3 or negative 1, and it works out great, as you can see here. Now this effect, it won't get rid of all of the like fisheye effects in the video. As you can see with that ocean clip, it still looked a little curved to me. It's, it's kind of trivial. If you want to adjust it, you can. Uh, Negative 3 might not be the best fit for you. It might be negative 2, negative 1. Play around with it. See what you like, and I hope this works out better for you. The advantages of, of uh, using Motion over Final Cut is that you don't have to have a plugin, which is why I think that Motion 5 is great in terms of having this plugin already installed uh, under Video Effects. With Final Cut Pro, you get the fisheye effect, but you can't set a negative amount for it unless you have a plug-in, which I think costs like $27. And I'm not going to pay that kind of money for a stupid plug-in. So I hope this video was informative, and I hope that you get a lot out of it. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe.